Next up, let's set up your account by importing contacts. There are three methods to import existing contacts. File upload, copy paste, and import from another tool. Today, we're going to do the import from file method. There are four steps to go through to import contacts from a file. One, upload a file. Choose a CSV file or a similar file. Preview the first 10 lines and then confirm if everything looks good. Second, map data. You'll need to match your file headers from your CSV or other file to Brevo's contact attributes. For example, contact ID here from my CSV file needs to be mapped to a relevant attribute. Be careful because contact ID is Brevo's internal ID system. So since these IDs are coming from elsewhere, I'll need to select external ID. Email, the name, SMS, and phone numbers all seem to match. But because I'm in the United States, I am gonna switch these to United States, even though it's still just plus one. For file headers that you have that don't have a pre-existing matching Brevo attribute, you can create your own by clicking on it, then clicking add new attribute. You can also select do not import to avoid assigning a file header to any Brevo attribute. After this, click confirm mapping. Next, you'll need to select or create a list. You can choose an existing list or create a new one. If you create a new list, you can either select a folder to put it into or create a new one. You'll also want to name your list something descriptive. For my purposes, I'm just going to select this existing list, your first list and your first folder. Confirm your list to continue. Step four is to finalize your import. First, you'll want to decide how to handle a situation where your existing list has contacts that are also on your new list that you're importing. You can either update the attributes of the existing contacts or leave the old contacts alone. If you choose to update the attributes of the existing contacts with the new information, you'll also need to decide what to do if it encounters empty fields. To leave the data alone if there are empty fields in the new doc, leave this unchecked. If you want to erase the existing attributes anytime there's a blank field, toggle this on. Since I'm importing to a blank list, these settings don't matter to me so much. You can also choose to block list the contacts that you're importing instead of adding them to a list to message. We don't want that in this case. Lastly, click this checkbox to confirm that your import and contact list adheres to Brevo's rules. Then click confirm your import to finish. If everything goes smoothly, you'll see a success message at the top of the page indicating how many contacts were imported. Here they are, here are my 10 contacts.